And all the in between, and something and something that rhymes with in between. Science time with Susan time, and science time with Susan time, and stop! Of course, I can get a nuclear reactor or if I'm not as stupid. Hi, welcome to Science Time with me, Susan Timon. We'll start by reading a fan letter. Since Aperture employees can't use the copy machine without filling a 62 page waiver, I'll just read one today. Dear Susan, I heard that Black Mesa showed at the National Science Symposium last year. Why was an aperture there? Does Black Mesa simply do better science? Anyway, today's lesson is about turning an everyday household item into a pure energy source for science. Now when you think of a battery, you might think of this. Or one of these. But really, items like lemons, potatoes, or pennies can be turned into a battery. But how do we turn this into this? A piece of metal has potential chemical energy. Right now it's a big hunk of nothing. <laughs> but with a little chemical change, it could be charged with electric energy. If you stick this piece of metal, like zinc or a nail, into a potato, it becomes charged by a chemical change when the metal touches the phosphoric acid inside the potato. Although zinc and copper are commonly used for this project, metals like magnesium almost double the amount of energy from a single potato. So... With enough magnesium metal and potatoes all connected by a length of industrial high conductive aperture wire. Ta-da! Thanks to enough potatoes and the power of aperture science, you can do almost anything. They are powering this room right now. Son of a... Science amazing?